we have gone through five, uh, five months, now six months worth of supplies in less than a week. And uh, we are scrambling. Uh, we're scrambling and even to the point where uh, these are N95 masks. Uh, we've got uh, three days of supply of N95 masks on hand. Uh, in order to preserve these and get them to last longer, we have begun, we've got a, a team of people sewing masks together. This is surgical sheeting uh, and uh, this is our prototype. Uh, we've got about 3,000 of these made. We believe we can make uh, 200,000 of them. It will take a few weeks, but this is, this is the, the kind of what we're having to do because we don't know when that next shipment is coming. Uh, Wait, we're Scott, trying to source I don't, I, I don't want to interrupt, but that is amazing the lengths that you're having to go to now. And I saw this actually mentioned in a press release. You have employees sitting in conference rooms. Now, as you could show folks that one more time, because there was a graphic in front of, in front of it, now putting together alternative masks in order to explain it to folks so you don't have to yeah. throw out an N95. You could kind of extend the life of an N95 mask. An N95 is a filtered mask. This keeps our staff safe, and that's our that's we want our patients safe and our staff safe. This can be worn uh, for an extended period of time, but if it becomes soiled, if we believe there are droplets on it, it should be discarded. Normally, it's a it's a it is a discardable item after each use. But we believe by being able to cover it with these these made the, these masks made of surgical sheeting, we can extend the life of these. So instead of going through eight or nine or ten a day, maybe an employee can only go through two or three. Uh, because again, we're we're running short and uh, we're concerned about running out. And if we can't keep our pay, our employees safe, there will be no one to care for the patients. And that's exactly right. And I, and I will say, on uh, it's this is personal for everybody, but this is this is personal for me. I have two doctors in my family. One of them, my father, who's 70 years old. If they do not have this protective gear, can they be safe? Uh, they cannot be safe. If you've got a patient that has po is positive corona for COVID-19, uh, they are highly contagious. Uh, our employees would not be safe without this without this PPE. I mean, it is it is critical. Where are the supplies? You've said that you've you've been buying them up. What is the other than having to un unbelievably in the United States of America? You have you have folks in your hospital now trying to sew masks together for your healthcare providers. What is the other option? What is your ask of the state? What is your ask of folks in Washington who are seeing this and maybe now can grasp, get their hands around and grasp what a dire situation you're actually up against? That's right. Uh, every hospital is looking at how many days on hand do you have of masks, gowns, gloves, uh, eye protection. We have, we have bought eye protection off the shelves of local stores. We have reached out. We've got an incredibly supportive community. And I would tell you our, our, our political or our governmental leaders, I know they're all supportive. They, they really want to do the right thing. Uh, but I, I can tell you, we're, we were just looking at a sourcing these out of a company uh, out of Mexico. And they want $7 per mask. They've got a million of them in hand. And we, we, uh, this is a mask that normally would cost us 58 cents. But I would tell you, we're probably going to go ahead and take them for $7 each because we're that wow. desperate.